everybody. My name is Bernd Gag, leading the Design Services Europe at Texas Instruments Freising. As already promised, I want to show you now how to get from an inverter topology to a flyback or to a CP converter. CP converter offers you the same benefit as you get from a buck boost converter, but CPIC needs only one MOSFET, needs only one rectifier. Let's play around with our inverter power stage. Very simple, we already know, high side switch, we got our inductor versus ground, our rectifier, and we got an output capacitor, and of course, at the input, always the low impedance source, our input capacitor. We got a positive input voltage, we got a negative input vo output voltage. That's what we learned up to now. In a very first step, let's replace the inductor versus a dual inductor, a transformer. Looks like this. electrical behavior of this circuit compared to this circuit with a well-coupled inductor will be exactly the same. We got a positive input voltage, we got a negative output voltage. Now let's modify a bit farther on. That's a series connection of the primary winding and the MOSFET. Why not putting the MOSFET to the low side to achieve a more easy control there? So all what we did is we changed the primary winding with the MOSFET. MOSFET is now low side for easy control. And what can we do at the secondary side? At the very first step, we change the windings direction of our transformer and we change the direction of our diode. And what we are achieving is a flyback converter. So we now know the inverter is a flyback topology, of course. But what about the CPIC topology? The CPIC topology is very easy. If we got a windings ratio one by one, we can simply add a capacitor from the drain to the anode of our rectifier and we need a connection here. That's all we need to transfer the flyback topology to a CPIC topology. Benefit of the CPIC topology, of course, is a better behavior here at the switch node. With the pure flyback, we got here an overshoot, we got here some ringing that might end up in EMA trouble, EMI problems. But with a CPIC topology, we get rid of the ringing here at our drain. But as we have benefits for the ZEPIC, of course we have benefits for the flyback. Let's do the same circuitry again. Primary winding, primary FET, and of course input capacitor. Secondary winding, rectifier, of course, 
an output capacitor. What could be the benefit of our flyback converter? Of course, benefit is with a good, with a perfect calculated windings ratio here, we can cover a big input voltage range. That's the first benefit. And the main benefit of the flyback is we can add simply another output winding here on the same transformer, means we can get a multiple output. We can create several output voltage within one single power stage. That's the benefit of the flyback converter. In our five session, we discussed on five non-isolated DC-DC topologies. Here, with the classic flyback, this is also not only a transformer-based topology where we can add the right windings ratio to achieve a good pulse width at the input, we can also add an isolation barrier between input and output. So the benefits are isolation and multiple output inside the flyback power stage. As we already have learned with the boost converter and with the inverter, bandwidth is limited by the right half plane zero because energy is transferred to the output when the switch is open and the bandwidth in an isolated topology is also limited by the low pass behavior of the opto isolator. To avoid this, there is the possibility for primary side regulation by adding a primary auxiliary winding for closing the loop on the primary side. As you already know, at the end of our presentation we link you to an EVM that gives you more detailed information on ZPIC and flyback topology. We are now at the end of our five short sessions of non-isolated DC-DC topologies, buck converter, boost converter, buck boost and inverter, and of course, ZPIC. And the first introduction into the isolated topology of the flyback converter. If you need any further information, if you have any project and you are in trouble, feel free to visit our community and ask your questions directly to our TI people. Thank you very much.